so microsoft paint is a simple raster graphics editor tool okay which include with all versions of microsoft windows okay uh, meaning whichever microsoft windows you are using it right uh, this particular inbuilt software is available rest of the other software whenever we buy it we need to give the additional cost to buy it right but in the paint itself you know it's in a free of cost tool uh, and you can create a graphics as per your creativity and uh, this will help you to edit a image okay uh, if you have an image and that needs to be converted into the uh, passport size photograph that you can also do that even you can resize the image as well ms paint is basically microsoft paint so that is there so now uh, how i have opened this particular uh, windows so just click on the start type in the search box paint okay you can see the app called paint okay you can just click it over here you can see this windows okay the uh, files when we are saving any kind of a file okay saving meaning uh, i need that particular file to get a printout okay to get the printout we used to save that particular file first for saving uh, we have the multiple options called B, uh, bmp first thing second jpeg i'm just typing it over here so this will help you to understand jpeg these are the format basically bmp then gif graphic interchange format png portable network graphics and tiff formats okay stage was developed in November 1985 as per Wikipedia correct so now the first tab if you would see this is the ribbon tab on the top it's a title bar this is the status which you can see the resolution and this is the zoom in zoom out button okay zoom in zoom out these are the rulers horizontal rule this is the horizontal rule left right top bottom like this okay if you if i zoom in more you can see this content is basically pixelated right bit blurry that's called pixelated if i do a normal zoom which is 100 percent resolution this is my actual image Now let's quickly start with this ribbons how it works the file file is basically to create a new whenever we click on the new it will ask you do you want to save these changes untitled meaning this file is not yet saved okay so if i want to save it i'll just click on the save button okay i'll go into the file any kind of a file location wherever i want to save it i'll just click here uh, suppose I'm just saving this file over here test or maybe season one session one I can say I'll copy this path to open that again PNG okay now if I go to the direct path I'll just paste it over here that path you could see that session one is added over here now I want to open that file what I will do I'll just double click on that you can see the file open in a PNG why it was saved in PNG I'll show you that as well while saving the file okay that time itself I selected the format called save as type okay that time itself uh, you can select the any kind of a formatting whichever you want to so it will take some time to load it let's give a couple of more minutes or maybe in the meantime I'll just quickly show you how it was looking at when I save that file okay here is the option right BMP then JPEG that's your GIF TIFF PNG and these are the save as type so while I've saved that file that time it was in PNG format so that's the reason uh, it saves in the PNG image format 
PNG is basically portable network graphics. It helps you to remove a background from the respective image. Okay, so let's check if it is loaded. It will take some more time to load. Okay, so once it's up, I'll quickly show you that as well. And then new we have seen just now open to open that particular file wherever it's been located. I'll just click here, click on open, don't save. And this is the open okay the session one file has been open in this ms paint okay you can open this in image form as well you can directly open in the ms paint as well it's complete your call now save save we have just now seen it we can use the control uh, s as well this is the shortcut key to save this file control s to save it and then control here is the shortcut key which is f12 for save as save as why we use a save as to rename a file okay meaning if i want to save that file session 1 to session 2 i just click over here and when i try to open it you could see there are two files available session 1 and session 2 right now print if i want to make a printout of this particular copy i can print that as well before that printing we need to ensure that we are setting up the printer uh, appropriately to understand our page we are correcting choosing the correct page basically and basis on the size we are selecting the printer when we visit any kind of a cyber cafe any stationery store that time if you could see right uh, those particular failures are uh, adjusting their pages based on the printer this is the adjustment they need to do right now uh, here i don't have a printer handy so that's the reason i'm just skipping this part okay print preview we can see the preview this is the page how it will look like and my content would be in this form correct i'll click on the close print preview and uh, if i'm happy to take a printout i'll just click on the print and then i'll get the printouts i click on the prints okay number of copies how many i wanted right i want to select the printer okay uh, i'll not select the printer though i'll just select the print pdf and then just click print to get this file converted into the pdf cool so so far this is the uh, understanding in terms of the new open save save as and print okay if in case any questions feel free to drop in below comment i'll help you out to resolve those okay let's move on to the next now here is an option called camera from scanner or camera now it's in a deactivated the reason when we want a any kind of an image right we have any image and we want to scan those document uh, basically when we visit any stationery store or cyber cafe that time we need to you know scan any kind of a photograph that time this particular option get activated and you can directly use that photo and then act accordingly so let me 